Maka, obviously, we've had a little bit of break or a little bit of a break again since the Rangers' defeat. But how useful has that time period been? Yeah, it's been useful to review and reflect and then go again. Um, so the lads have worked really hard the last 10 days since we've been off and then we're ready to go for the game on, on Saturday against Celtic. Yeah, obviously, the Rangers' defeat was a disappointing one. Has it been difficult to reset that mentality going into arguably what is a even bigger challenge against Celtic? Yeah, obviously the two best teams in the league at the moment, as you see in the table. Um, I think Easter Road against Rangers, the first 15, 20 minutes we had a go at them. We went 1-0 up and then gave away two sloppy goals really, which was disappointing. And the whole emotion in that game and, and the crowd really got us going. So um, Rangers were excellent on the day, I thought, in and out of possession. And we didn't stay in the lead long enough to, to go and really test them. So we'll try and address that on Saturday, going into the Celtic game. Again, we'll be front foot, but there's also, also that balance. You can't go too gung ho. Um, you've got to be solid behind the ball and organised with that discipline to then counter or break and, and take your chances when you get them. So we've reflected on it and picked the bones from the Rangers game and what we need to improve on. And that was in possession stuff when we won it. You've got to try and keep the ball first, especially the first pass, if not the second, the third, to then go and create chances against them. Yeah. What, what do you expect from Celtic in terms of the way that they play? Yeah, they've got quality over the pitch. They're good footballers, they've got pace in wide areas and a clinical when they get in the final third. I think they average about three goals a game you know, in the top of the league. So we know the challenge it faces us, but we are mentally, I think, in a better place, psychologically, psychologically in a better place than we were last time we went there. So you've got to have that belief and confidence to go to Parkhead and think you can get something. And so we'll be looking to do that with the game plan we put in place. Yeah, I was going to say, how important is that mentality? Because when we went to Parkhead earlier this season, Lee Johnson was pretty strong in his words post-match around players having to be mentally stronger in those kind of games. Yeah, I think lads are in a better place since the gaffer said that, and I think he was right at the time. As soon as you cross that white line, when you go to Ibrox or Parkhead, you've got to have that strong mentality and win your individual battles. We've got to have eight, nine of our players, ten probably, at nine out of tens, and then they've got to have three or four of their players not at it. And a little bit of luck helps, and then when you get your chances, you've got to be clinical and take them. So, I think we've got a stronger mentality now. And it's, a, it's a great challenge for us. We're looking, we're looking forward to it. Yeah. Just finally, in terms of team news, how how are we looking? Is there potential for anyone else to be back? Yeah, there's a few on the way back. Um, so Joe's back on the grass, working hard. Um, Jake Dog is back in training. Um, so yeah, the squad looking good. How much of a boost is it to have Jake Dor Dorhays back in training? It's been a little bit stop start for him, hasn't it, this season? Yeah, it's been frustrating for him. And he has been frustrated, but he's worked hard to get back. Um and you see him in training now, he's got quality on the ball, he's got that little bit of nastiness, he likes to tackle. Um he's a winner. Do you know what I mean? He's got quality. So he's definitely asked to the group. Fantastic, Maka, thank you for speaking to us. Thank you.